Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hug. Okay, today I'm going to explain about lipid. So, triglyceride, it composed of one glycerol and three fatty acid. Okay, so what is glycerol? Glycerol is actually an alcohol. So, what is the molecule? Okay, the molecule of glycerol is Three carbon and each of the carbon with one hydroxyl group. So this is glycerol. How about fatty acid? Okay, fatty acid. The general structure of fatty acid is C double bond O, OH, and it will have the R. What is R? R is hydrocarbon chain. What is hydrocarbon chain? The chain that consists of C carbon and hydrogen. Okay. So for triglyceride, before we go for formation and whatsoever, now let's we talk about the fatty acid. Okay, if the question asks you to circle or to state two functional group in the in the structure of fatty acid, so the first functional group is hydrocarbon chain, and the second functional group this is called as Carboxyl group. Fatty acid, since I have said, I have mentioned, fatty acid can be divided into two types. The, the, the differences is actually according to hydrocarbon chain. Okay. If the hydrocarbon chain consists of one or more double bond, so this is unsaturated fatty acid. If the hydrocarbon chain no double bond, so this is referred to saturated fatty acid. Okay, for example, we have C double bond O, O, H. Here is C, C. So, this is the hydrocarbon chain. Do this hydrocarbon chain have double bond? No. Since no, this is referred to saturated fatty acid. If the drawing is like this, C double bond O, O, H, C, H, double bond C, H. So, the hydrocarbon chain is here. Do the hydrocarbon chain has double bond? Yes, it has one double bond here. So, means this is class under unsaturated fatty acid. Okay? So, for saturated and unsaturated fatty acid, at least you know three differences. The first one, in terms of the source. For unsaturated fatty acid, the source is come from plant. Second, uh, for saturated fatty acid, it comes from uh, animal. The second differences between saturated and non-saturated fatty acid is about the state due in a room temperature. For unsaturated, it is in liquid state. But for saturated fatty acid, is in solid form. And the third one, of course, you need to know about the example. Okay, unsaturated fatty acid, example is oil. And example for saturated fatty acid, for example, is fat. Okay. Molecule of glycerol. Okay. So let's draw three molecule of fatty acid. This is fatty acid one. Second molecule of fatty acid, and the third molecule of fatty acid. So we have one glycerol here and three fatty acid here.
when we talk about formation, the process involved is condensation. Okay? As uh, in carbohydrate, you have learned. Condensation means the process remove water molecule. So from here, between glycerol and fatty acid, one water molecule need to be removed. But the question is, which molecule going to release the hydrogen atom? And which molecule going to remove the uh, hydroxyl group? Okay. As we can see, glycerol, here is hydroxyl group. And for fatty acid, here also hydroxyl group. So which we are going to release the hydroxyl group? And which molecule will release the hydrogen? Alright. So the... Okay. So actually, very simple. Since this is called fatty acid fat. So we need to lose the weight. Of course, the fat. So the... Molecule that lost the hydroxyl is fatty acid. Okay, since we have three fatty acid, each of that we lost the hydroxyl group. And for glycerol, from each carbon, it may lose one hydrogen atom. So here, one, two, three. Three water molecule is being removed. So what is the product? of the condensation process. The product is a simple thing. Draw back the basic structure of the glycerol. After hydrogen is been removed. And uh, now for the fatty acid, the fatty acid already lost the hydroxyl group. So the next is directly to the car, but so we have one, two, and the third fatty acid. So this is called the triglyceride. But this is not the the end of the formation because you need to state. Three water molecule is being formed after the condensation process. And compulsory to label the ester bond or we call it as ester linkage. Okay? Label this is labeled as ester bond or ester linkage. So if you can draw like this the total mark is 3 marks. Okay.